baby girl. It's okay. You're safe now. And they can't hurt you anymore. And I know it. <laughs> it sucks. And it's left you with so many scars and battle wounds. And you didn't deserve any of that. None of it. None at all. You were a child. How could, how could a child deserve any of that? That's just insane. And you might not believe me, but imagine a kid, imagine a child now, and it was the same situation. Would you then blame that child? You've been fed sweet, sweet lies by people that were meant to they were meant to love you and they abused that trust. And you're okay now. You're safe. You're fine. You've got the scars to bloody prove it, but I'm so proud of you. I'm so pleased that you're still here. You're still shining. You're still fighting. And if I may be so bold, could I just have a little cuddle? Like we're in, where you're like in my arms. I don't know, and just kind of talk to your inner child a little bit. That person beneath the surface, beneath all the front, beneath the bravado, the persona that keeps you safe. Could I speak to them for just like 10 minutes? God bless you. Come here then, come cuddle with me. Are you comfy, my darling? My love. feel uncomfortable, if you're sick of looking up my nose, you know, just let me know. But I just wanted to let you know that your desires are not foolish, that your desire to be loved is not foolish, it's not a lost cause. There are people out there, there are people out there that love you so much and that will love you and there's this whole big wide world out there that they've kept you from that they've made you believe that you couldn't explore that you couldn't find a place in but I'm here to tell you that it's possible you can be anything you want to be whether you have these people in your life or not then that's up to you I'm not here to tell you either which way, but blood is not thicker than water. That's a lie, it is. Blood doesn't mean everything. <laughs> blood doesn't mean everything, so if it's more hassle than it's worth, if it's triggering you to a point of being unable to move on, being unable to change, being unable to improve, You have to look out for you. You have to look out for number one, my love, and you are number one. You are the main character. You are the only person that matters. And they tell you sweet, sweet lies. But how you're undeserving. But how you're not worth much or stop being a burden. Stop being a nuisance. Stop crying. I'm not listening to you. I don't have time for you. It's so sad. I'm truly so sorry that you felt neglected in any way, you felt unworthy in any way by the main people that were meant to bloody provide for you. It makes me feel sick. Like, if you can't handle children, then I don't think you should have them. Not that you are a mistake, not that you are. You're perfect. You're perfect. They just failed you in a few ways. Left you with a few emotional scars that didn't need to happen. But I'm kind of pleased that they did because now, look at you now. Look at you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you are such a whole person. You have so many accomplishments. You are genuine. You are caring. You have so many friends. 
Whether you know it or not, there are people fighting your corner. So, do what you need to do. Do what you need to do to find that joy, to find that glimpse. Ask yourself, ask that child within you, what do you want to do today? What were you unable to do? What were you unable to fulfill? That void in you. Because I know you've been told that you're mature for your age. I know that you've been told you're very responsible, very independent, very wise beyond your years. It's okay to be silly, it's okay to be a kid, it's okay to be silly. Enjoy things. You may know you take things very seriously because you were made to. And that's not fair. It's not fair. I'm so proud of the person that you've become. Despite everything that you faced, despite it all, you know, like you're truly one of a kind. And I know a lot of people that wouldn't have survived what you did. And I commend you, I respect you, I give my all of my love to you. All of my support. And these people that you are meant to trust, these people may have told you things that aren't even true. That you're fat, you could stand to lose a few pounds. That you're ugly. That you're dumb, that you're stupid, that you don't listen, that you don't care, that you're a child. The main point of parents is to just look out for you, look out for their kid, look out for the person that they're creating, that they're shaping. And you should never have been told those detrimental things. Never, because it gets ingrained in you and you are none of those things and I hope you know that, I hope you're working every day to unlearn that because it's not the truth it's not the truth you are brilliant and you are bright and this world is a much, much better place for having you in it I promise you that I promise you You were never a burden, you were never too much. Yeah, they did the best they could. But that's sad in itself, isn't it, my love? I'm not here to try and make excuses, I'm not here to try and make you forgive them, forget, anything like that. No, because it will always be carried around with you in a little place in your heart, won't it? Unfortunately. They should have done better. And I know you've been told before as well, one of my favourites. You know, I, I put a roof over your head, I feed you, I clothe you, I give you the education, what else do you want? I want some love, baby girl. You're so loved. And even if they don't see it, even if they're still unable to tell you, I know they feel it. So many people, especially the older generations, just don't know how to convey emotions, to convey feelings. It doesn't make it good, it doesn't make it right, but it's the truth. You're so beautiful and creative and smart and intelligent and fun and happy and lively makes me sad to see whenever you're doubting yourself, you're down on yourself, you know, it, it's really upsetting that you don't see how brilliant you are. If you could just see yourself through my eyes for like even 10 seconds, I think it would all change. I think, <laughs> I think it would all change. making me emotional. You are. You just 
yourself so much more, you know. It's a tough thing giving it to yourself. It's a tough thing to ask you to try and give it to yourself now. But to heal, to grow, to move on. You have to do what you have to do. And don't give up. Don't give up because you're going to meet those people that light you up. You're going to meet those people that see your value, see your worth and not even question a single fucking thing. Okay, my luck is... <laughs> You're perfect. And none of it was your fault. None of it. I love you. Please remember that. So, to finish off. What's one thing that the inner you wants to eat today? What's the one thing? And don't be like, oh, I'm an adult, I can't have cake for breakfast. That is literally the definition of an adult. You can do whatever you want, my love. Maybe not every day. Maybe not every day, but treat yourself today. Do one thing for that child in you today. Make them happy. Do something that... not all the time. I'm sorry you've gone through this. I'm sorry you're going through it. I'm sorry you had to watch this. You'll get through it. Look at you. Look how far you've come already. It's inspirational. I love you, okay? Can I have a cuddle? Keep going. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I got a bit soppy there. You're doing great. You're doing amazing, sweetie. And heck, if your parents aren't proud of you, I fucking am so much. I love you. Don't forget to do something that inner you. Love to heal and grow, heal and grow, heal and grow. <laughs> Stay safe out there. Keep shining bright.